joined today by Blaze Street head coach Mike DeGeorge, Trevor Baskin. Uh, coach, just a quick little recap on that on that run last week before we hit yeah, uh, Tuesday night we're at home in the first round versus Metro and um, difficult matchup for us. I thought the guys really battled and competed and, um, you know, in that second half we were able to separate from them. So it was a really good win for us and then had to go on the road to Spearfish, South Dakota and played Regis on, uh, on Friday and did a lot of good things. We were just a little bit out of sorts with our focus on offense and uh, then, you know, Brian Dawson had a huge night for him. And you know, you just you just got to be super efficient on offense when you're playing a team that has, a, you know, the talented guards that Regis did, and came down to one possession game, and we fell just a little bit short in overtime. And so, uh, you know, disappointing outcome. Um, still another level to get to in terms of consistency, and we're excited about the week ahead. Yeah, we're excited to have another opportunity. Obviously, the first year we didn't get to play, and then last year we felt like we missed an opportunity. We, it was not a very good uh, effort on our part. Um, and so mentally, it's a different approach. And you know, we just have to be the aggressor, and we have to go out and be trying to earn something that, you know, quite frankly, no one's done during my time here. And we've only won one tournament game, I believe, in the school's history. So, um, you know, this team's had a lot of expectations on them this year, and this is the, you know, the first time this year we've really been able to try to do something last year's group didn't do. And so, to me, I'm excited about the challenge of it and the opportunity. And you know, a very good opponent. I think it'll be the quickest team we've faced all year. They're certainly the most aggressive. Um, and, uh, you know, they got hot during the conference tournament and really made a lot of three-point shots, which they shoot a lot of. And, you know, so it'll be a big challenge in some ways, some similarities uh, to Regis and that they got small, quick guards that can stretch you out. Um, and then they're very aggressive defensively and, and a very athletic team. So it'll be a big challenge. I mean, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, obviously, not every team gets to do it. Not a lot, bunch of teams have the opportunity to go once, but we, we need to go twice. Uh, and I mean, I don't like Coach said. We didn't put our best foot forward last time in the NCAA tournament. Uh, really disappointing on how we played. So uh, we're just lucky to have another opportunity to go out and prove ourselves to on a national national level and get up with some wins out there. I'm kind of piggybacking what he said. Uh, Coach said it yesterday. We have about 300 teams in Division Two, and only the 64 get to go and play at this um, next level and get to see all the best teams in the conference. So we're definitely going to go hard this week in practice and take a different approach than we did last week going into that Regis game. I think we definitely kind of fell out of focus and expected to beat them. I, personally, I just felt like we kind of just looked, looked, pa looked past them and thought about Black Hills more than Regis, which kind of cost us eventually the game. but. This week we're coming in with a different type of focus and we're going to be ready to go come Saturday. So, Obviously, the, yeah, you set up the schedule this year with brutal first two weeks. Mm -hmm. But you've seen those regional teams now. And even though it's been several months, how much does that kind of help you now? Well, I think it helps us in a lot of ways. Um, you know, one is just the the, the experience of the travel uh, going to Texas, and and even though it's not, it's in Lubbock and not uh, in Canyon, but it's it is a similar sort of experience in terms of that. We got a chance to play against uh, Lone Star teams. It is a different style, uh, more physical. Um, you know, the games officiate a little differently. Not as many uh, calls are made. And um, and then just kind of the aggressive athletic nature of the Lone Star is different than the RMAC. And so I think having those three three games against Lone Star teams certainly helps us. Um, and just having the experience of going down to Texas two weekends and playing two different times helps us. And then, you know, part of it, we're in the tournament because of that. Like, you know, we had the, one of the strongest, we had the strongest strength of schedule in the RMAC. And so it certainly helped us in the regional rankings all year uh, based on the schedule we did. And then just, 
you know, the challenges this team have faced, I mean, they've been real. Like, everybody had our game marked on their calendars all year. Uh, we've just faced a lot of uh, adversity, and the group has battled through it, and I think we're a, a proven group and, and a hungry group and ready to go compete. Guys, what do you take from those first couple of weeks and then obviously everything that has transpired since then? I mean, obviously kind of what he said, uh, the physicality is definitely a lot different. Well, especially I remember going to Texas and just – that first game playing them and noticing how much more physical they were, how much more fouling was going on, and there wasn't a lot of calls. So I think that knowing that or getting that experience early on definitely is going to help us come this weekend and just being ready. Like uh, Coach said, our scout team is not really the best personnel for this team we're about to play because they're super quick, super fast, and we have a lot of bigs. But, I mean, hopefully this week they'll get us prepared for what type of physicality and what level of speed we're going to see come this weekend. So, yeah, I mean, even though the season – when we played them was about like five months ago in October. Uh, I don't think we can really forget like how physical and how demanding everything was. I mean, they were teams there were just. I mean, it's Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, they say. And uh, I mean, they were strong. Pause. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Got to uh, be able to adjust in practice this week. Not expect a lot of foul calls and all that stuff. So just gotta. Be ready to adjust and be ready to go. Has seen kind of like the speed and the tally, knowing that the Gold Star Conference teams are going to bring this tournament kind of been an emphasis for you guys to work on on and off the court this week? Yeah, so we, you know, we showed them some clips of just uh, the aggressive pressure yesterday, and then we really. Uh, ask the scout group to really replicate that. They did a really nice job in practice yesterday. They just really got into the guys and made it really hard on them. And so, you know, I think everybody's uh, committed to, to trying to go and make a, make a good showing. And it starts on Saturday. And, and uh, it'll be a different style than we've seen. And, and we'll have to be, be ready for that. And I think the guys are understanding what it means. They've experienced it. They've seen it on film. And so uh, I think the group will be ready to go. I mean, yeah, my my style of basketball is pretty much bully ball. A lot of the time, especially with smaller guards, and knowing that these are going to be smaller guards, I have to use that to my advantage. But even knowing that I can be more physical, that's might transpire to me getting charges, which I'm prone to, especially in the RMAC. So I got to make sure I'm being smart with being physical, but also taking advantage of the extra. Um, leverage they give us out there, like the refs and the players and everybody. So just being smart with being physical, be yeah, I'm definitely excited to play. The preparation since conference play started has been obviously a lot of teams that you're familiar with playing uh, film study, you know, one of those times. Uh, what changes this week in the preparation for a team that obviously you know you're not as familiar with? Well, it just means a lot more film work for us, for the coaches, and then all the logistics of a charter flight and uh, dealing with the NCAA with everything and um, and just having to go through their process rather than our normal process just adds layers of, of things. And then, you know, one of the things I've learned over the years is that, like, people you haven't heard from in 20 years here <laughs> in the NCAA tournament, they reach out. So you have that peripheral stuff, too, where you're getting contact uh, that you don't normally get. And so you just got to be able to prioritize and, and, uh, and, you know, just stay focused on, on what's important and getting the team ready. But it's not like we haven't seen all the things they're going to do this year. We have. It's just they're just a little quicker. They're just a little bit more aggressive. And um, so we'll just have to, you know, do the best we can to replicate it. And the fact of the matter is when the ball goal gets tipped on Saturday, it just becomes about the competitive spirit and us being the best versions of ourselves we've been working at all year. And, uh, and I think this group's ready to do that. Ago, I mean, you made it. You yeah. didn't get to play, and then last year it was, it was quick. But for a team that still is going to be incredibly young next year, mm -hmm. how crucial is it for these guys to get down there and see this and experience it back to back years? Yeah, I think it's essential for us to go and win games. I think, you know, for our program to continue to develop, we have to go and have success at the national level. And this is a great opportunity to do that. And uh, we're going down there to win the regional. We're just not going down there to, to play and have the experience. And, uh, and I think this team's capable of doing that. So we're really excited. But obviously, uh, Kingsville is the first challenge. They just made a great run in the, in the tournament. They beat Lubbock. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's an opportunity for us to go and play a great team right away. And, 
and see where we stand and and go from there. Jeff, I got noticeably more you know aggressive and more part of kind of the feature part of the offense um, you know throughout the season. If you can just kind of talk about your development throughout the season, uh, what you're going to kind of use moving forward here uh, on a national level. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, my confidence wasn't great at the beginning of the year, but uh, I think my teammates really helped with that. Uh, they get they the guards gave me great looks. I have a, I have an easy job sometimes to just they'll do all the hard work and break down the defense, and I'm just sitting there waiting for them to pass it to me uh, two feet away from the rim and dunk it. But uh, just seeing the early ones go in really helps me uh, with my confidence. And I mean, uh, just knit. Choosing what the matchup is, if it's a bigger, slower guy attacking him off the dribble, if it's a littler guard or a littler player going into the post. Uh, just really the knowledge of knowing uh, to pick and choose when I should shoot and when I should pass. And yeah, just letting my teammates uh, do, all the, do all the hard work. And uh, yeah, I just, I just nitpick is what Blaze says. I, I stand at the rim and dunk, and he, he does all the flashy stuff and beats the defense. Coach, what did you see from Trevor about the year that kind of allowed you to really get more minutes? Well, we certainly believe in Trevor and have uh, since I first saw him play, and and uh, you could just see, you know, how good he was going to be. And it's still both these guys. It's just still they're still in the learning process of of just kind of figuring out exactly what their role is against every defense they face. And they both had, you know, some incredible games, and they both had some times where they just had a little bit hard time figuring out still exactly what the team's game plan is and how they need to attack it. But they've grown tremendously in that. And honestly, as they go, we go. We need them to be the best versions of themselves for us to really make a long run. And, and they're certainly capable of dominating at the highest levels uh, of Division II. And, and we're excited to, you know, to go and have these guys perform uh, at their highest level. I mean, Trevor and I talked about it yesterday in the room after practice. It must be nice just being six eight and be able to stand under the rim while I have to be picked up by a guard that's five nine and way quicker than me, and I have to break them down full court, and get all the way through the lane, and just dish him the ball. He's six eight and can dunk with ease. So, I mean, nah, but Trevor's definitely a crucial part of our offense, and we definitely need him this weekend. I don't know if I've ever been on a shorter flight before. So I don't know. Uh, but it'll be nice to only be on there for a couple hours rather than trying to fill 10 hours on a bus, which, which we had this weekend. So uh, I don't know. You got anything? Is a charter plane a private jet? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Well, it's not going to be a I mean, yeah. I mean, take Snapchat video, show people I'm on a private jet, it's how I'm going to pass the time. <laughs> What I do to pass the time is worry about not getting like beat up or something. I get sh shoes thrown at me or wow. someone. <laughs> yeah, just, 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 cool. I just gotta, I just gotta keep my head on a swivel. I gotta stay alert at all times. So that's that's what I do to pass the time. I'll watch a TV show or something or mess with the team, but I always have to keep my uh, eye on the back of the head out. Yep, mayonnaise packets in the guys' shoes have been a big thing uh, of late <laughs> on the road that they gotta look out for with each other. But uh, so you gotta remember that, Trump. Thank you guys.